Hey everybody, Ekiris here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. 500 day challenge, Interloper. Alright, so here we are in Mystery Lake at the trailer. Right across the uh, rail tracks from Carter Hydro Dam. We're going to check that in the... Yeah, I guess we can... I guess we did sleep. I thought it was nighttime, but uh, yeah, it's morning. So we're about to go check that out. Um, yeah, let's go do that. See how things are going outside. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing. Well, I'm doing. I'm doing well. I'm just a little frustrated trying to install a, seal, a kitchen ceiling light. It's not going as planned. <laughs> I've done it before. Done it like three overhead like ceiling fans, and uh, this one just man, it's like my house. Whoever had did the electricity in the house before. I think there's no ground wire for the grounding. Uh grounding wire. I'm not sure exactly what I was supposed to do with that. Um, they didn't leave a whole lot of wine, or a whole lot of uh, wire for me for the hot wire. And, uh, yeah, it was just, just kind of in a bit of a pain in the butt. Can't get it on, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give in and call an electrician, unfortunately. Anyway, I was pretty grim about the whole thing. Uh, I think it'll lighten up in here, if we give it a little bit of time. I guess I could do a little bit of looting with, with the uh, lantern. I don't really want to do a whole lot, though. But maybe we could do a little bit. It's daytime. Maybe I should, maybe I should eat a little something. And, uh, ooh, we could try this tomato soup. Might make us sick, but we can we can get over that in 10 hours. Yeah, if we get sick, we can eat this with no problem at all. No worries. All right, let's go ahead and eat this. Yeah, we'll see what happened. Alright. Also, I do want to show you guys we're on day 15 here. So. Let's see. I got some reading materials, don't I? thought I did. There it is. Stay on target. It's going to reach this. Or, read this. That'll actually level us up to level 1. Yeah. So, I had to give it into it, but I got a really good Patreon comment from Joseph Deschette and, uh, just made me smile and uh, thanked him for that. He's a new Patreon member. So is Felicity, Felicity Kerr. So, welcome you guys. I'm going to try to uh, make sure that I acknowledge you guys whenever you join yeah, Patreon. Regardless of the uh, of the level, I'm going to give you a shout out at the start of each uh, episode. I'll try to do that from now on. I think it'll be a good thing to do. So yeah, shout out to those two. But yeah, his comment made me smile, put things in perspective. I was kind of funky. I was like, man, I don't want to... Oh, there's a hexaw. Look at that. That's a, that is a hidden hexaw right there. Uh, we already have one of those. We really don't need it, but, you know, because you can repair this pretty easily now. But we'll grab it anyway. Put it out in the in the big goodie pile that we'll, that we'll make. Um, just in case we need it later on. Uh, you know... But, uh, yeah, I was kind of in a funk. I was sort of in a bad mood. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't want to record. It's been a while since I've recorded. I've been busy all week. And, uh, it's like, I don't really want to record if I'm in a bad mood. But, yeah, the, the comment put me in a good mood and, uh, made me smile. I was going to give it the old college try anyway. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. Yeah, I guess we can break it down now, can't we? Well, no to everybody else out there. That's apparently a spot where you can where you can get a hacksaw. So make sure you at least check there. We're gonna take all of this. Now we did leave some stuff curing inside of the. Uh, we did leave some some items curing inside of the uh, the trailer we just left. So make sure I head back there and get that. This used to be a spot down here for the uh, hacksaw, I think, wasn't it? Like down in here. Or somewhere. I missed it once in one of these playthroughs. Uh, I'm sure we're not going to find another one since we already found one, but just want to go down there and check the pallets real quick. Let's head on upstairs. Yeah, what the heck? Let's go all the way up. Pretty sure there's not going to be anything here, but with the new loot locations, you pretty much have to check everywhere. Can't just write anything off. 
I wonder if we'll ever be able to go outside of that door. That'd be kind of neat. I'd like to do that eventually. I wonder if things have lightened up in here at all. Nope. Pretty darn dark. Okay, let's keep going. Oops, let's not do that. I am going to go ahead and let my uh, hunger expire here, just because you know we don't have we don't have a ton of food here. Uh, got soda, a couple beans, a lot of a lot of cattail stocks. That's going to be helpful. We'll find some more on the way through Mister Mystery Lake as well. So what I want. Take that though. Definitely take the nuts and stuff. A few, few calories there. I did fix the sink though. It had a slow leak, so I did I did fix the flange, replace the flange uh, on one side of the sink, as you know, double base the sink. It was uh, leaking the the part that comes screws in underneath and pulls the flange down into the sink was like so I don't know it was like so stripped that you could actually just wiggle it and it you didn't have to unscrew it you could just wiggle it loose so uh, got a new one of those replaced it that was at least that was easy and, and it's been solid so I should have just stopped there with all my my home improvement stuff today honestly should just finished it on a victory, right? I might end up going down and get some torches or something rather than burn up all my fuel. We'll see what happens. I guess I double... I did. I thought I had started the... Uh, lit the torch off of the other torch in the last episode and I actually used a match instead, so I kind of had an oopsie right there. I was trying to save a match and ended up wasting one. doing something like that basically not being perfectly on whatever I needed or it burned out at the last second I'm not 100% sure which but whatever it was it didn't didn't quite work out I wonder who owns this stuff take that I think that'll replace one of our items okay let's let's get out of here I'm gonna run get out of here because I don't want to waste too much lantern fuel Let's head out this way. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and take a look at what we got here. So, should lighten up in here a little bit eventually. All right, let's see what we got. We got a new hat, so we can replace this one with the uh, the new one. It's not in very good condition compared to this one. That's why the cotton hat looks better. But if you look at the difference between 83% toque over to 96% cotton toque uh, versus the wool one. You're going to see 1.7 degrees warmth bonus versus 1 and a 0.8 windproof. Itself. So, yeah, we'll put this one on. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and just tear this. No, 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 no. Let's har I'm like 30 minutes to harvest. Jeez. Let's harvest this up here. See if things lighten up a little bit over here in the foreground. Doesn't look like it did much, but uh, let's go ahead and har uh, not harvest repair. There we go. So now we got a hundred percenter and an eighty-three percenter. That's gonna be pretty good. Getting our warmth bonus up there nicely, a little bit. Ah, uh, man, don't want to get use my. All right, let's go through here. All right. I know you guys have asked for it before. The brightness. Where do I do that? It's thinking about upping that a little bit. There, quality. Yeah. Accessibility. I'm not sure. Now you would think it would be under display, but that's as far as we go there. Image filter. Up 
Okay, because I can see pretty well here. I have a feeling uh, you guys can't see much. That's more antiseptic. I don't really need that. Actually, I can't really see that great. I have another torch. I do. Um, I think, how do I want to do this? I could craft a few torches, I think. And then just use torches the whole time. I need cloth. Do I have enough cloth? Then I'll take a little bit of oil. Yeah, I don't need to be carrying around two of these either. Two cans is okay. Let's see here. Got six cloth, so that's pretty good. Alright, can I make a torch or do I need some more? What do I need? I need lamp oil. Oh, I don't have any lamp oil. Well, I could start a fire and grab a whole bunch of little torches out of it. Let's use this as a backup. Let's stick with what we got with the old uh, lantern for now. Hopefully, we find some some fuel. If not, we're gonna have to go do some fishing for fuel. All right, let's move back here real quick. Check this area. We moving kind of quick here, guys. There. Mittens. Okay. I think what we have is better, but can't be 100% sure. I don't remember what we have for for gloves at this exact moment. Okay. Gotta hit the safe for sure, but at least I can turn off the lantern while I crack the safe. Excellent. Beef jerky, nice. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Nope, I don't need that either. That's why they left it behind. Alright, let's turn this off. Alright, let's crack this safe. Hopefully something good. Big jerry can of oil would be nice, or gas, kerosene, whatever it is. There it is, 34. Feel like we're getting close. 34 and like 35 or something. Can I do it? Or, ooh, I stopped. Good. I could use this. Cash, we can burn that. It's good tender. So, we keep that. That's it? That was it. Oh my gosh. Interlopers, no joke, huh? Alright, let's find some lantern fuel. Get some scrap metal there. Alright, let's. Oh, did I hit this? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's head back here real quick. Drop it, drop stuff here again. Let's see here. But don't I need to be carrying? Really don't need to be carrying the cooking oil at the moment. Uh, or the flour. Don't need the arrowheads. I just don't want to get tired while I'm looting, you know? Honestly, I don't need the hacksaw either. So let's drop that. I uh, don't need two of these. Or even one. Don't need these. I might need that. I don't think I'll need this book. This little book, but... I'll come back and get it. Just thinking while we loot the dam, that's all. Okay. Honestly, don't need two rocks. Let's see. 
Might need the flares for light, but I'm gonna save those for wolves, actually. Like that. Two cans. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna be making anything in here. Any water in here? Just picked up a whole bunch, so we're gonna be good. Two tea. Don't need that. Don't need these. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. We have a quite a bit of carry weight before we go deep into the bowels of all oh, that. These we do have mittens. We have better mittens than than these. So, oh no, these are hundred percenters. Are they on right now? I'm wearing those. I found 100% mittens. Oh, okay. I guess I'll drop these super nice mittens. Alright, anything else? Underwear. Need more underwear. Okay. That's good enough for now. Alright, let's keep going. Something good. Nothing. Well, let's go. Eh, should be pretty light in here, actually. Yeah, it's good enough. Um, I'll do some searching around here like this. Might be a little difficult for you guys to see. Apologies, but I need to conserve the fuel. Um, I gotta take it a little slow myself here. Double check, there's nothing up here. Very well could be. Man. I guess, uh... I guess I'll crack the light whenever it gets really dark like this over here. There's some little shadowy bits. Just so I don't miss anything. Okay. We're good now. We'll just keep it out. Oh, yep, can't go that way. That's right, you gotta climb up the rope. Do I find an arrow shaft here? Let's go upstairs first. Nothing. All right, let's go over here. Oh, metal shelf, okay. Keeps popping up on the screen there. I'm trying to see if there's some way I'm supposed to be able to get over there. I guess I fall from there, run across. Yeah, you can do that. Cedarwood in a flare. That's kind of like gold right now. Question is, is there anything over there worth getting? Because I can drop onto that, run over there. I don't see anything from over here unless I bust up that box, and I really don't want to do that at the moment. Alright. 
Set down the rope onto the other side of this debris. There we go. It's dark again. Let me just illuminate this real quick. Peek around. Good. Okay. There, anything in the wall? Nope. Okay, let's see how dark it is down here. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best. Jeez. All right, let's let's do it. Do the best we can. All right. I feel like these locked lockers are now just wasting my time more than anything. We can head out that way if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to keep going. Uh, antibiotics, take that. Okay. I know I'm going to miss some loot spots just because I'm moving so quickly here, but I have to. So we get We'll go along the planks on the way back. A little path back here. Okay. No, no, no. basically have to have a fire just to make little crappy torches like the ones that don't require any ones that don't require any uh oil don't last that long i think we're gonna get to that point Anything about now? I get that thirsty. Oh, that a broken metal box. We're gonna be going back by torchlight. Man, I don't know if this was worth it. All right, I got a piece of a fuse or whatever. This will come in handy. Yeah, take some more coffee. I think I could probably see it here. Yep, okay, good. There's enough residual light there. I'll describe what I'm seeing for you guys. I know probably a little a little tough for y'all. Broken metal door, blender inside of a locker, <laughs> microwave, yeah, plastic container. Check it out. Nothing. Another one? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> give me some underwear. We'll take it. She would have given me the really good one before I repaired it, you know? Spent resources doing that. Resources and time doing that. Alright. So, looking over here in this corner, nothing. Just a flag and nothing on the ground. I kind of searching with my cooking pot. Oh, cooking pot. That's kind of worth it right there. Since I sacrificed my last one. 
open lockbox. It requires a memento key. You son of a gun. I don't, I'm not even sure how to do a memento key. I can't remember. Like, you gotta find a memento cache or something? I don't know. Or you got no wait, you gotta find a, like a what a note or something like that to give you a clue to where to find a key or I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out eventually. All right, I'm just gonna run it back because I can see where I'm going. Um, don't need to burn anything. Oh, did I get that? Oh, plastic container. I just happened to notice it underneath this chair. Did I get this trash can? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we've got everything else. We'll make sure I get the toolbox. I did. All right. Again, I know very dark for you guys, but I'm running towards sunlight. All right, so we're going up the planks here. I'm just going to keep my nose down, see if I catch anything with my my white dot there. Great. So, we have search this trash can? Okay. I guess there's a trash can over here I missed. It's pretty dark, even even for me. Uh, oh, wow. I got that one, though. That was a trash can that I somehow managed to get. Okay. Okay. Some cloth. We can definitely tear that up. And use that. How much is that? Three cloth. Might be worth grabbing. I want to grab this. Because if I want to make a bunch of torches... I'm gonna grab that. We get a drink here. We got 2.8 liters of water, so we're good there. All right. All right, we're back up to the top. Maybe it lightened up a little bit for you there. Not sure. I think we'll go outside and make a fire outside rather than stay inside. But I might bust up some crates in here real quick. Um, how long will this take? 29 minutes and I get uh, like an hour and a half of wood. We'll require the hatchet though. Yeah, let's do that. I think we're going to get lots of torches. Another three. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now we're a little heavy because we're rolling heavy with the wood. And we're starting to get a little tired. So our carry weight has decreased a little bit just going through the normal hallway that I man I can't even see but I, I happen to know I can barely see little blues oh well thought I could okay I'm gonna have to phone a friend here old sparky okay well that's the right direction let's go up that way so that's a good way to not use any fuel uh, just spark it up like that and then you can get your bearings and head back out all right so let's see here uh, I guess I could keep things here and at the trailer it's not that that not the end of the world maybe I'll just go over to the trailer and grab what I need bring it back here so we have it all in one place and normally the hydro dam is where I do keep things oh my gosh can you hear my uh, people slam shut there jeez two degrees feels like two degrees Celsius, so that that's nice. Um, we're gonna grab our stuff, put it back here in the hydro dam, so we have everything in one place. That's likely to lose things, and then we're gonna go adventuring outside a little bit. Uh, probably drop some more gear and uh, get going again. This is very temperate weather for uh, compared to what we're used to. So let's grab the things down here that are curing. I uh, got some guts, got some birch saplings, some rabbit pelts. We're a little bit stinky, but we'll be okay. Got everything? I think we got everything, right? Um, any more cloth I can tear up in here? Probably. There's probably something in here I could shred up here. Yeah, let's, let's take this pillow. Okay, there we go. Again, just gathering the cloth. Because I want to craft a bunch of these uh, torches. When I when I finally find some fuel, why I feel so tired? I don't know, probably because I've been running everywhere. <sighs> Poor Will. I'd like to make it to the camp office, so I think we'll I think we'll shoot over there first. Well, we we checked the hydro dam. We didn't find much. 
The cooking pot was probably the best thing, I think. And the water. Uh, the hacksaw would have been really nice, but we already had one, so that wasn't a big deal. I'm going to keep the cooking pot with me in case we do need to cook. But uh, I'm going to leave these here to cure. Well, let's not do it that way. Let's, uh, uh, let's see. i probably take most of this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to leave the antibiotics here. Yeah. Take that book in case we need it. Firewood, yeah. Cloth, yeah. Put those cure here. It's fine. What do you think? How much do I have left on the, the branches? Are they cured? Not quite. I think maybe I could... I think, is there a... Uh, crafting table in here? Yeah, there's a crafting table right inside the control room. So if I let these cure, and I come back with... Uh, I'm going to drop these arrowheads here. Did I already drop the arrowheads? I might have. I think I did. Yeah, I did. They got all these feathers. Probably don't need all this coffee. There we go. We'll keep that. It's very lightweight, but uh, still. Don't need three toques. Don't need the fuse right now. As far as I know. Uh... See what else here. Nineteen feathers. That's a lot of feathers. Look at that. Almost. Almost. Uh, 0.2 kilograms of feathers. Yeah, let's let's drop that here. I wanted to move back a little bit. They're a little difficult to pick up if you have mixed in with everything. Of course, we're going to try to pick up most of this stuff. Got birch bark in case we want to make more tea. Carrots. I can place those outside. Yeah, we need those right now for any recipes. We're not really in the recipe state of mind at the moment. I don't think I can even really cook much anyway. So, all right, what are we at? What are we at? Five. I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired. As much as I'd like to make it over to Mystery Lake. I, I, ugh. Or not Mystery Lake, but, uh, oh yeah, Mystery Lake. The cabin at Mystery Lake. I think I'll probably sleep here for the night. And then we'll do it in the morning. Yeah, I do want to do it, but I'm pretty tired. And I don't want to drink my coffee for no real reason. Alright, we'll head back to bed here. Maybe do some more reading. Let's see if I can... I want, might be able to... Make it down here to Alan's. Now be careful, because sometimes there's a wolf here, and sometimes there's a moose as well. Be Let's see if I can grab some cattails for the night. Should be some down here. Got me. Yeah, there's some right here. Some rose hips, but I'm gonna stick with the cattails. I'm gonna grab a couple. There's a deer carcass over there. Yeah. I'll grab a couple of these for tinder. Full belly for the night. Alright, I think I got enough tinder. Start dropping them. Alright. We'll grab these two and then we're gonna head on back. Okay, good. Could go out there and harvest the deer. But by the time I got done, I'm pretty sure I'd be so tired I couldn't run, which is probably not the best place to be when I don't have a bow, any type of offensive weapon. So I think I'm just going to play it safe. 
Typically playing it safe doesn't get you killed too often. It's the name, right? Oh, look at that. Another hacksaw. So, you guys now know another location to look for a hacksaw. Jeez. Apparently, they're everywhere. I just never looked in the right places. Wow. wonder how many... I feel like I should be checking around every building now. Like every corner of every building. I like it. I mean, I like having the crazy loot spots like that. All right, how are we doing on the cattails? It's gotta be pretty good, it gotta be good, right? 23, that's pretty good. All right, feeling better. Definitely feeling better about our chances here. So where are we at with our weight? 25, that's not bad. So when when we get back up to, uh, to our normal carry weight, because we're just so tired right now, we'll be fine. We still have a, a little bit of room to pick up stuff. And uh, yeah, so we'll be in good shape. I think what I'll do is eat a couple cattails and uh, read the book a little bit more. Then we'll keep that for fire starting material if we need it. So let's get started on that. I do need to eat something, otherwise it won't let me continue. I think I'll just do the pork and beans because, yeah, I don't want to be carrying that around. Uh, cattails are a lot lot lighter, even though it looks like they're heavier. They're calorie-wise, they're a lot lighter. All right, let's go ahead and eat the pork and beans. Or this, let's do the banged up tomato soup. Yeah, let's do that one. Three hundred calories should give us a couple hours worth of uh, reading here, and I'll probably go outside and do the reading actually right on the step because uh, it's nice, and I want to make sure that I don't have that cabin fever uh, possibility of return. Um, let me find a, a warmer spot. Is there a warmer spot, or is it just cold? Okay, that's a bit warmer. Not by much, but enough to not have us get cold. So, let's go ahead and read. Where's my book at? No, it's not there. Did I drop it? I dropped it. I dropped it back here. I'm going to be too tired to read. That's what's going to happen. Oh, well. Probably should have ate the soup. I didn't even think about that. I couldn't drink the coffee and read. Yeah, let's do that. Let's drink a little coffee and read. I just feel bad for wasting a nice day where we could be standing outside reading. I don't think it... I, I still don't think they, they pathfind their way inside the open gate, but I'll just close it because you never know what some of these updates bring. And I don't read every ounce of the changelog. I've never been so hungry in my life. I gotta be careful getting back to the trailer because I won't be able to run. So I'm gonna be need be ready to uh, use the flare if I have to. So maybe what I'll do is I'll grab the book and then just head straight over there. Let's see, I'll have to pick up a bunch of stuff to get to it. How far down is it? It's pretty far down. There it is. Stay on target. That's what I'm looking for. Where's my Where's my T's at? Is that a tea? Well, it's antiseptic. Oh, it's a recycle can. Thought I might. Do I have my teas with me? I might have my teas with me. It's quite possible. I'll probably drink my tea now, actually. Yeah. I'll just do that. Let's see how much of a boost that gives us. Eh, significant. Probably enough to read for. To maybe one or two hours. Do we have enough daylight left? Alright. Back to the place where there's a bed. We need to either craft a bed. Like a bear bedroll. That'd be awesome. But uh, I think we're a little ways from killing the bear at the moment. We at least, at least need a few arrows. Alright. Um, oh yeah, I want to do outside. What am I doing? It's still cold here? Yeah, it feels cold. Let's tuck back here again. Does that help again? Yeah, kind of. 
it's on the cool side of zero, apparently. Here it is. Let's uh, read another hour, see where we're at. I'm going to need to eat soon. I think we can get another hour. Let's do it. The sun set. Oh, it's close. It's going to get a lot colder soon. We got it. All right, so we're getting through that book. Just in time to go take a nap. All right, we'll get some sleep here. So let's see here. What do I have? I want to have the pork and beans, 600 calories. Yeah, let's do that. And then maybe the chocolate bar. Yeah. We got some beef jerkies too. Beef, stale, new, and new. All right. Make sure I drop this can right after I eat it. Otherwise, I'll be carrying it around for no real good reason. Got two of them, actually. Got the cooking pot. Don't need it right now. So, I guess if I had multiple fires going, I could technically use those to make extra waters and stuff, but the timings get kind of wonky and, I don't know, just don't want to min-max too much. Never, never really been my style. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, eat that uh, chocolate bar. There we go. That should put us over what we need to uh, stay satiated throughout the night. Where are we at now? 871 calories. Oh, yeah, plenty. We got a full belly of water. Let's cut and sleep for 10. And uh, heal up a little bit, too. Glad I wasn't sleeping. Some red wires. 14 days, 23 hours, and 30 minutes. Nice. Sun's just starting to come up. I could eat anything right now. So pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get moving here. Get a drink first. I'm very thirsty. What's our health at right now? Oh, we're almost maxed out. Negative 18 degrees, though. It's cold. It's a cold day. Gotta watch out. The wolves are a little more crazy. Small arms handbook. Not going to do us any good. Except for fire starting, but uh, not too worried about that. It's a little heavy to have for guaranteed fires. Right, let's just kind of keep an eye out for the wolves. Make sure they're not... We're too close. Part of me wants to go down there and grab more cattails, but I guess we can leave that till later. Enjoy the beautiful aurora and the freezing cold tips. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go straight to Mystery Lake via the uh, little caboose over here. Looks like it turned off. I think that roar is about to go away here. Look at the uh, the new lookout up there. It's that green. Can't feel my feet. It's really pretty. All right, let's head on in. Caboose here. Let's see what we can find. Practical gunsmithing. It's all about the guns, man. Any back at the memo? There's a candy bar. That's good. Okay. Anything around here? Just curious. Don't see anything on the ground. All right, we're gonna take the. Uh... I'm too cold to think. We're gonna go up the hill here. See some. Are those? 
Oh, I thought they were birches trees. They're not. There's. There's. They're cattails, but. Or reeds of some kind. I don't know if they're cattails. Oh, now. Well, in the wind protected area, it's only negative 16 degrees Celsius for our feels like temperature. For the snappy snappies to happen. Dying from starvation. Just waiting for it. Cold and starvation. Sounds like a lot like everybody on the TV show alone. So I think we're doing all right. Should be able to survive at least what? What's their record now? Is it like 70 days, 75 days, something like that? It's up there. Oh, no, wait, they did the 100-day, didn't they? That's right, they did the 100-day for a million dollars challenge or something like that. So, I think it was 100 days. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it. Great show, though. Alone. Go check it out if you haven't already. There's like seven or eight seasons of it. Love that show. Negative 22. It's, now it's getting colder. The sun's, the sun's getting up here and it's getting colder. What's up with that? What is up with that? Negative 17 in the... I had some protection, but it's not too bad. What was that, about a 5 degree bonus? Yeah, not too bad. Is it still making the uh, Aurora music, or are we switched over now? I think we're switching over. Well, the cabin should be right down here. There she is. I see, I see little traces of the Canadian flag. Of course. All right, there she is. Classic. Kind of love the Mystery Lake cabin. Oh, hey, Tarmigans. See him right there? I don't have anywhere to hunt, way to hunt him right now, but it's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll return, kind of hang out in the same area, or if they kind of migrate around the map. All right, looks like I survived another night. Check, uh, check the outside here. Hello. There we go. All right, let's head on inside and warm up a little bit. Well, we made it to the mystery, mystery lake camp office. Of course, for some reason, it's really dark in here. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll be using the rest of this to loot this area right in here. Great. It's all blinky. It's weird. That's like really annoying. Is it because it's running out of fuel? Is that what it is? That must be it. I think I can use this. Good. Cooking skillet. Cool, we'll put that up there. I'm feeling we're going to want to keep you that. Potato. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll mill flour. Stone, we'll cooking oil. Herbal tea. We're about to run out. Alright. We're about to run out. All right, and we're out. All right, I can see pretty good. I'll describe what I see. Uh, I don't want to use a match on the, the torch right now. Another cooking pot. Okay. Quite a few cooking pots here. Check under 
here. Can I check for sneaky beads? I don't know if I check for sneaky beads. Nope, no sneaky beads. Alright, let's go on up here. Oh, I remember the days when Carl used to be sitting there waiting for me. Just to say hi. I will take that. Field dressing your kill. Should make things a little, a little more efficient when we're out in the field. Could end up being useful. Not really. I'm gonna leave that behind. I, I need underwear. Quit, quit giving me, quit giving me the same thing. Or cloth. Nice wood stove with a double burner. That's that's really cool. Especially with a skillet, huh? All right. So yeah, it's starting to lighten up, lighten up in here nicely, actually. I guess it was early, early morning, so that's probably why it's a little dark. But uh, all right, looks good. Well, we made it to the Mystery Lake Camp office. We found ourselves a skillet. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Paying for cooking and frying. What we can do with that. I gotta have it in my inventory, probably. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Doesn't say you need anything there. So I need ptarmigan. Need some broth. Got the flour. Rabbit stew. Need some broth. Got a rushy nut mushroom. I got one potato. Two broths. Wow. These are some skillet recipes. All right, here we go. I can make that. Yeah. I don't know, it might be kind of fun. We could do a couple of those. Is that all we can do? Looks like it. Yeah, it's the only one that's lit up. I want to do pancakes though one of these times. Gotta find some maple syrup. Gotta have maple syrup just to make the pancakes. I mean, to make them right, to make them taste right, yeah, but to make the actual pancake itself, no. Nah. Actually, now I'm craving pancakes. And we do have pancake mix and syrup. I have all the ingredients in real life to make pancakes. So, on that note, I'm going to end this episode right here. I'm going to go make some real real life pancakes. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the episode. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not a Patreon and uh, you want to be, hey, have a new shout out thing. For as little as $1 a month, you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2 and join up. Yep. Mystery Lake. It's very cold. <laughs> Let's get back inside. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for helping uh, cheer me up, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.